On page 122, we're going to use real fractions uh, or fractions in real world situations. So, um, finding fractions as a whole. Let's see. Let's pretend that we're having a school election, as you see here. In a school election, 141 fifth graders, that's a big class of fifth graders here, and we only have about 40, but 141 fifth graders voted. One third voted for Shira, and two thirds voted for Bree. Okay, let's see. There was a, the total was 141 votes right it's not a very nice four but you know what I'm getting at 141 votes and let's see one third of the vote went to Shear and two thirds to Bree so what would be one third of this what number do I have to multiply the three into to get 141 well I can just simply divide right 141 divided by three that's going to give me the number that I need to multiply the 1 into so I can get my answer of what 1 third is. And then if I want to know what 2 thirds is, I just take that number and multiply it by 2. And that will give me my answer of what 2 or 3 parts are. You get it? So again, divide 141 divided by 3. That will give you the number that you must multiply the 1 into so you can get this. And then you multiply that number times 2 so that you actually have 2 thirds. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you, boys and girls. And then go ahead and answer the rest. Answer A and B. Number two. Bob, Liz, and Eli drove from Chicago to Denver. From Chicago to Denver. And they drove 1,050 miles. Bob drove one-tenth. Well, what, what is one-tenth of this? If you're thinking 105, you are correct. There it is. See, 105. That would be times 10, you would just add a zero, right? So there it is. So it looks like this. Uh, one tenth of 105. 1,000, sorry, 1,050. Right? Well, you can just simply put a line over it and make this an equal sign. What did you do to the 10 to make it 1,050? Do the same to the 1 and you'll get the one-tenth. Then multiply it by four so that you can get what four-tenth is. Okay? And that'll give you this right here together. As you can see, you have a one here and a four here is five-tenth, isn't it? Isn't that half? Isn't that half? Well, that's the other half. So these two will equal this one. Okay, boys and girls? Question three. Carlos and Rick paid $8.75 for a present. Carlos paid two-fifths of the amount, and Rick paid three-fifths. Okay, so they didn't split it right in half. One paid two, two out of five parts, and the other one paid three out of five parts. Okay, how much did Carlos pay? How much did Rick pay? Well, let's see. Let's do an equivalent fraction. Okay, uh, we need to know that Carlos paid two-fifths. So we need to know what two-fifths of 875 is. Well, what do I do to the 5 to make it into 875? I must do the same to the 2, and that will give you my answer. Okay, so you can just simply divide 875 divided by 5, and that will give you your number that you need to multiply the 2 into to get your answer. Okay. Boys and girls, remember you can always pause and replay my explanation so that it makes sense. Okay, Replay it, listen to it again in case you miss anything. Okay. Do the same thing for, um, for Rick. Okay, Let's just uh, get rid of this right here. And for Rick, you're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, how much did Rick pay? Well, we just said that 875 is the total, right? And Rick paid three thirds. So what is three, three, three fifths? What do I do to the five to make it into 875? So just divide it. 875 divided by five. And then multiply that number times three. And that will give you 
your number that you're looking for, okay? Okay, girl, boys and girls, go ahead and read uh, number four. A pizza costs $12, including tax. Scott paid one quarter. One quarter of 12, it's 12 divided by four. You, you got the unit. It's three, right? Because there's three, three, six, nine, 12. So the first one, one out of four is three. So three. Uh, Trunk paid one third. Well, what's one third of 12? Four, eight, 12. So one third is four. A total cost. And Alicia paid one sixth. Oh wow, break 12 into six parts. Two, four, six, eight, 10, and one more, 12. Okay, so two. How much did each person pay? Go ahead and answer those questions as you just heard me. And go ahead and figure out uh, five to seven. We will check them in class. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in class.